So now that you know why you should use descriptive writing, you might be wondering, well, what exactly are the building blocks of descriptive writing? You've probably already studied parts of speech, so you know your adverbs, your adjectives, your verbs, but if you'd like a quick review, take a look at this description of a burger. So this is a great example of descriptive writing and its practical uses. And it says, you'll get fired up for the crisply fried jalapeno coins, tangy salsa, and spicy pepper jack cheese. So uh, words like tangy, spicy are great examples of descriptive words. Uh, and when you are describing one of your best friends, is the adjectives. Um, so examples of adjectives might include some fairly general ones like big, small, uh, you use those a lot, but you can get even better words or maybe cooler sounding words by hitting synonyms. So maybe I like the sound of gigantic better. I could then get enormous, extremely large, massive, gargantuan. So I prefer gargantuan. If you do the same with small, you could get diminutive, which I don't know, sounds kind of cute. So let's say I have my gargantuan uh, house and my diminutive pet. Okay, so then you might go house and they have all these as well, dwelling, domicile. Okay, I don't know where you would use domicile, but you need a pet. This is where you want to get more specific. The second great building block of descriptive writing is adding details. And if you can get more specific instead of pet, maybe put chihuahua. Uh, and if you want, you could even add another adjective like diminutive but fearsome chihuahua. So here already with just adding one, well, two words, but fearsome, diminutive but fearsome chihuahua, you're imagining this tiny, oh, apparently it's both, okay. Uh, you're imagining this tiny but really scary little dog. Doesn't that add so much more of a mental image than small pet? So with just a couple words, playing with language, finding synonyms, you can transform something boring into something very visual and maybe just maybe pretty fearsome. Thanks for watching.